I thought it would be a cool idea to make a comparison video between the Namiki Nippon Art Dragon Cumulus finish to the Graphon Faber Castell Classic with the Permacubumpa wet finish. Let's get into the comparison. I, I thought it would be a cool comparison because for people that like slimmer pens because these are my slimmest pens in my collection, I think. They're both very slim and and I like this way more than this and that's where I'll get into why even though they're, this is more slimmer than this, this is way more comfortable. Okay, let's get into it. In terms of size, as mentioned, I mean, the Amiga is slightly longer, but in terms of girth, they're pretty much the same. If anything, the Namiki has more girth to the pen than the graph on Paper Castell. The, the Eclipse, I mean, this is the... This is a way more better clip. It's easier to get in and out and spring-loaded. It's easy to use. You have the Graphon Paper Castell logo right there. This is it's like platinum coated. And this one has Namiki, Namiki logo. This is a very stiff clip. Still usable, but I would not recommend because it was she lacquer. And yeah. On here it says Germany, Graphon Paper Castell, made in Germany, handmade in Germany. It says handmade in Germany. This is a wood finish. Where's this Urushi lacquer finish and Maki design? When it comes to the nibs, the, the Namiki has a bigger nib, but they're both very gorgeous nibs. I mean, this, you can see, this is Namiki on it. The Namiki Mount Fuji. It's a medium nib, or this is extra fine nib. Okay. This is a cartridge converter, similar to the Graphon Faber Castell. This comes with a pump style Con70 converter. Just a good converter, but it's just a pain to clean. Holds like 0.9 millimeters of ink. Whereas the Graphon Paper Castell is also a cartridge converter. It's a screw on converter, which I like. And traditional converter. For the, the the sections on computer. So as you can see, it says a metal section where this is the Urushi lacquer section. This is way longer section than this. It's slimmer than this. But I find this section more comfortable for some reason. Maybe because it flares out suddenly and more than this. And this feels, this is a little bit heavier, but feels way more balanced than the Namiki Nippon Art. This is lighter, but I feel like it's more uh, weighted to the, the front of the pen than it is to the back. So it's not as balanced as this one. Let's get into just the writing sample, which is the most important. Oops. Fourteen carat medium nib. The ink is Hiro Shizuku. 
Bomiji ink. It is this ink right here. It's a great nib. They're both very smooth nibs. This has some feedback. It's a good type of feedback. This has no line variation. This is Japanese pen, so it's very on the fine side. Whereas the Graphon Vivre Castell Classic is. So this has slightly more feedback because this is an extra fine nib. I haven't ridden with this for like two weeks. This is 18 karat extra fine nib. Ink is Graphon Faber Castell Carbon Black, which is my favorite black ink. I like this nib more as well. Just feels better. Even though this has more feedback. As you can see, I mean, even this extra fine, this is like similar to medium of the Namiki. That's how you know like difference in terms of nib, how they write for German, German pens versus Japanese pens. Also, yeah, this doesn't have line variation either. I mean, this is extra fine, so you don't wanna push this because you might misalign the, the feed, and, but yeah. This has more feedback than the Namiki, but this is very fun to write with. For final comparisons, uh, when it comes to price, you can get this brand new for about 330, whereas the Namiki you can get brand new for like 470, 450. So it's more expensive. And I guess you might justify it by the mm -hmm. Ushi lacquer and the Maki design, but this is also made in wood, which is very rare to grab on favorite castell as far as I know. And this feels so great on the hands, especially if you have oil hands. One of the downsides of this is because it has a metal section, so this might become slippery for some people, but this is not really slippery for me. And yeah. They're both very good pens. They're both, I mean, this is their, I mean, for Graph and Paper Castell, I think this is their flagship pen, whereas this is just their entry point pen for the Miki. So, yeah, the Yukai Royale and everything that just way more expensive. I mean, I could show you for size comparisons to these two pens. Here's the Yukai Royale. Then here's the Mall Pong for nine. So these are definitely thinner pens compared to these two. And I really like using this pen. Not as much as this, so I might sell this because for some reason it's not as comfortable for me. But the writing experience is great with this pen. I would recommend this for people who like slimmer pens. This is a great pen. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.